This is some uh, film that I found in the barn, and it's of a camping trip that my, that's John Newhouse right there, that my um, that I dad took without me. And uh, that's because I, I either wasn't alive or um, I was too young. But in this video, they did video a Bigfoot. And this is a place that I have been hunting. I haven't been hunting there in years. And I had seen Bigfoot there too. And to fly, we, you had to fly into this area. It's, a, it's um, about a 200 mile trip in a small plane. And you have to fly in and then you stay on this Indian reservation. And, you know, they, it's just, you know, they give you a cab, cabins and stuff and uh, cook for you. And uh, it's just a whole experience. There's a lot of drinking going on with, um, you know, the adults and also the, um, the native people, the indigenous people. And um, it's, it's beautiful, as you, you could see. It's, it's very far north. And I'm going to not talk about the location because people go up there and start um, looking for Bigfoot because this is where the Bigfoot from 1953 come out of. And in this video, you'll see Morty Lucas, of course, who was involved in the, uh, the shooting of the Bigfoot in 1953, along with my father and their hunting guide. And this would be typical. You have to fly in on these little planes. So you land in the water. And um, on this trip, it, 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 there's people here that I don't know. Uh, that's Morty Lucas with the patch on his eye. And that's John Newhouse. Now, I know both of them. That's my Uncle John and, and Uncle Morty. Uncle Morty, the, uh, also known as the one-eyed alligator. That is Bill Curley, I believe. Um, so, you know, it's, it's uh, pretty much out there. If, if somebody gets hurt or anything happens, it's, it's not like you can go to the doctor. There's no doctor there. Um, you know, you can't just drive. You know, the, you run out of food or something, that's it. So the, most of the, um, the native people, the indigenous people, you know, they, it's about them, you know, hunting and fishing. So th this is, this is um, pretty much probably still looks like this. Now, like I said, uh, this might be a dry area now because they, the government had, that's John Newhouse, uh, came in and uh, really restricted the native population, like that area, from alcohol. That's a bear that they shot. There really was no hunting season as far as the natives went. They just shot whatever they wanted. It's a fact. They, they really didn't care what season it was, you know, which is sort of fair. There's, what are they going to do? There's really no store to go to. That was typical transportation there would be the canoes with the outboards. Uh, I think there was one John boat, but generally speaking, it was canoes with outboards. Um, buckets. There's outhouses. Uh, that right there. See what he's doing right there? That was learned in the 1800s. Uh, Hans Brinker came into the area with his silver skates and showed him how to do that. Probably brought those, those metal pails. Now that's typical. That, that would be one of the outhouses that we would use. Smell the high heavens. That's another one. It's a typical. That's, that's one of the nicer cabins. Those two dudes, I don't know who they are. No idea. Um, my father took this footage. This is on Super 8. That's Morty Lucas with his Super 8 camera. Back in the day, that was pretty slick. That's Morty talking to one of the native dudes. Look at Morty. Morty would crack me up as a kid. He had a very foul mouth. Very nice guy. Very nice guy. Dr heavy drinker. Everybody was a heavy drinker there. Um... Now, this would be a typical football game that, that always seemed to happen. And the native dudes, 
didn't. The only reason why they knew about football is because my dad and John and Morty brought a football, but they're terrible at it. It looks more like they're playing rugby. And they don't really know about rugby either. They're, they had some kind of sport, but it wasn't anything like this. Um, but, you know, they, there are no rules and everybody's really drunk. Native dudes seemed like they were always drunk. Um, you know, the, 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 the white dudes or the, you know, the, the hunters, man, they always dominated the football game. It was sort of ridiculous, but, um, you know, no, no fights broke out or anything. It was all in good fun. Um, no rules, no rules as far as you could explain it to the native dudes and they didn't really care. It was, it was about getting the ball and running with it and they didn't really care how they, they got it. Yeah, they, they don't ring a bell. This is John Newhouse with a crack up throwing the log at the outhouse. I can't remember what this dude's name was. I've hunted with this dude. I cannot remember his name. It was years ago. I hunted with him in Valmire, Illinois. That might have been Bill Curley, actually. Um, as, as you saw, he was in the ladies. Now, let's see this typical. See, the native dude is just ripped. He's ripped out of his mind. He can't even walk straight. You would see that a lot. That's John Newhouse brushing his teeth. My father seems to think that that's important. A um, lot of smoking of cigarettes. Everybody smoked back then. Everybody thought that that would keep you healthy. My dad taking a picture of John Newhouse going into the uh, outhouse again. It looks like it says ladies above it. Um, not sure who that dude is. Um, looks familiar, but I, I, I can't remember his name. Uh, most of the people that went hunting here had seen Bigfoot at some time. All the natives talked about Bigfoot, and it was part of their culture. And Bigfoot was regularly seen in this area, you know, every couple days. Something like that. There was a Bigfoot scene, you know, um by either, you know, one of the people that's hunting there, or when the name, there's Bigfoot, that was Bigfoot, did you see that, that looked like Bigfoot to me, I think that was Bigfoot, I saw this when I, when I brought it out of the barn, I was looking at it, and I'm like, man, I think that was Bigfoot, um, once again, you'd have to jump in one of the planes to go to the, some of the hunting areas, and this is not really where uh, Bigfoot was shot in 53. It's close, but they had to fly into that area, and that would be like half an hour, 40 minutes away from, from that camp. Um, then you get on another boat, and then it was like a smaller camp where other native dudes lived. Like, this would be a perfect example. See that? That's like, you know, there's a bunch of people living up there. Rough life. Rough life. But, you know, look, they have their laundry out. Life goes on. Life's rough. It's totally different than city dwelling. That's Morty Lucas, right? That, there's Morty. People are wondering what, who Morty is. That's Morty Lucas. Awesome dude. Um, what, they're do, what, the, what the native stu, dude's doing is just bringing in a little brush. He's going to uh, kind of make a little blind real quick. Um... Goose hunting, duck hunting, if it's waterfowl, you could pretty much shoot it then. Uh, interesting fact about the, the native dudes, the guides, they did not use duck or goose calls. They do it with their, with their hands and their mouth. And it really didn't sound like a duck or a goose, but it seemed to work. They'd say something like, um, like, kufu, kufu, like that for a, gu for, for, um, a goose, and it, it seemed to bring them in. Now, what they're doing right there, that, that is, um, that's decoys. They're, they make decoys and shit out of stuff like, um, you name it, man. I, I saw them using uh, old bleach bottles. You know, he's setting up for snow geese there. Um, lot, lots, of, lots of ducks in this area. It's like the breeding ground, sort of the, the prairie area. Uh, Saskatchewan. There's Morty again. Guess it's a little slow, or Morty's had a little too much to drink. He's taking a little break. 
Always wearing those amber Ray-Bans, that patch on his eye. Dad always called him the one-eyed alligator. Hey, Morty's giving my dad shit. That's, he's probably saying that son of a bitch in his camera. He never shuts that thing off. Mike, you son of a bitch, and he's laughing at him. Um, there's some ge- there's, there's, uh, looks like a teal or something that was still alive. So that guy's wringing its neck, or what is that, a ruddy? I don't know. Looks like there's a goose on the table. Um, there you go. Some, you know, a wide variety of waterfowl. You might see snows. Uh, about the only thing we wouldn't really see up there too much is like woodies. I, I never really shot a woody up there. You'd see everything else. Um, lot, lots of, lots of waterfowl in this area. Now what they're doing here is they're chasing a rabbit. A rabbit came into the area and they're, <laughs> the Indians... The natives, Indian isn't proper, but uh, I have permission to use that term for reasons that I won't go into. But they chase the rabbit, right? And they surround it. And then now they got the rabbit. The woman's got the rabbit. And she is going to take that rabbit. And that is going in the pot. You can't, you know, you just have to get, you have to get that hair. You have to uh, get anything you can up there because you... Honestly, this is honest God truth. You just don't know if you run out of food. I remember at this uh, one time we were up there. It was colder than hell. And um, we got stuck, got iced in, running out of food. And then the Indians wanted to break into like this Federal Reserve area to shoot. And that's what they did. They, you know, it's just like they're, they're, we, we have to eat. And then I remember a uh, low-flying plane coming over and when a loudspeaker saying you're on federal property, you need to leave, and then everybody left. We were with, the, we were with gods. They, they, didn't, they don't really, um, there were no rules. There were no rules. Now, that's John Newhouse in the beret. Saw him in a beret a lot, hunting. He'd always wear that green beret. Um, went to St. Louis Country Day with my dad. Um, here we are, uh, well, here they are getting back on the plane. So it's sort of a sad time to leave the place. You see the families circling around. There's Morty again. Always wearing the same thing. I, Morty wore that same thing hunting every, every, every time I saw him, even from the time I was a kid. John Newhouse always wore the same thing, that green beret. Um... It's John Newhouse again. Um, see how everybody's sort of circling, right? It's a bummer for him because, you know, there's so much money spent that, you know, that, that's really how they make their living is being hunting guides. So uh, we're fly, flying over, look at a vast area to get back to another sort of base camp that you can drive out of. And uh, you can see the other plane. Well, now we have Bigfoot coming up again here soon. Maybe a closer shot of Bigfoot. Uh, watch this. See that? That's Bigfoot, I told you. That is Bigfoot clear as a bell. September 23rd, 1953.